pro level looking package on stage sadly i didn't make the i placed eighth so i can't do nothing about that Hi guys, welcome back with Romania Muscle Fest Pro complete lineup result of 17 contestants. So it was the first pro show of Surashai playing game and he was out of top 15. Jem Nazim has improved his conditioning this time, especially his midsection was much better than his first pro show this year but he did not take any place in the contest. Just 24 years old, Pavel Kowalski from Poland has made a pro debut in Romania Muscle Fest Pro Show and he finished taking last place. Gianluca Di Lorenzo from Italy has taken 14th place. Last week in Europa Pro Show, he was at 9th place. It was third pro show from Rob Cannon by far this year and this time he took 13th place. Whereas Pavel Beran was at 7th place in EVLS Prague Pro but in Romania Pro Show he had to drop down to the 12th place. 13th place finisher Rob had more density and thickness in back shots while Pavel had arguably better structure. British bodybuilder Lewis Breed has ended up taking 11th place out of 17 contestants. Whereas former 212 athlete Diogo Nunes has managed to crack top 10, he was more complete compared to 11th place finisher Lewis Breed with better conditioning. So Milan Shadik in my opinion has great shape and structure and impressive conditioning but I think his main weakness is not having enough size for the men's open division otherwise he has very imposing physique. He was at 4th place in EVLS Prague Pro recently and he had to drop down to the 9th place in Romania Muscle Fest Pro. So Roman Fritz has brought arguably his best look, he was relatively much bigger this time, almost 22 pounds heavier than his first show of the year and also he was one of the most shredded contestants on Romania Pro stage. In the pre-judging he was in first call out fighting with the front runners and many fans had him in the top 3. His back was his main weakness but I must say he was very dominant in other shots and he could definitely be few spots higher than just 8th place. Really appreciate it, I'm really happy to finally manage to get a good full and pro level looking package on stage. Really happy with myself. Sadly I didn't make the... I placed 8th. So, I can't do nothing about that. I'm gonna come back better next time and get a better placing, I hope. The new giant killer in the men's open division, Liang Jian from China has shocked the bodybuilding community already with his sheer amount of quality mass and overall very dominant physique. It was his first ever professional show and he managed to beat 10 contestants and arrived at 7th place. I hope he competes with some more improvements in Spain Big Man Weekend Pro Show in the end of November which is Mr. Olympia 2023 qualifier show where undeniably he will perform very well. Spanish bodybuilder Pablo Yopis has been awarded with 6th place. He has great structure, shape and very aesthetic physique with tremendous sheer drops and he looks incredible in front shots. As judges told to Roman he needs to bring up his back, I think Pablo is also weak in back development. But in the comparison according to me Roman was overall dominant in back shots and at least he had to have better scores than Pablo in pre-judging as he was leading. But in scorecards everyone has perfect scores which is very confusing 
our scorecard was nothing more than a formality. Artem Pakhniak has managed to take fifth place in his second ever pro show. He has presented great separation and details all over his physique and he is aesthetically pleasing as well. Although he does showcase much details in back shots with shredded glutes and well-defined hamstrings, but I think he needs to have a wider back. But it's a great result for the new IFBB Pro Artem finishing at 5th place. Jan Turek from Czech Republic was not even top 15 last year in Romania Pro but this year he seems more shredded which does showcase more details in his physique although size wise there is not a huge difference. He has moved up to the 4th place this year which is surely a great achievement for Jan Turek. Enrico Huffman has managed to crack top 3 at Romania Muscle Fest Pro. He has competed by far in 4 shows this year with quite impressive results. I think in EVLS Prague Pro he brought the best package where he had the most shredded look. The qualifying phase for the Mr. Olympia 2022 is over but I think he should compete in the upcoming competition in Spain in less than 2 weeks to qualify for the 2023 Mr. Olympia by winning the show or at least he will get some points for sure. So the only American bodybuilder in the lineup, Brett Wilkin, had to settle for second place and he has lost the last chance to qualify for 2022 Mr. Olympia, which is definitely a disappointing result for Brett. But he's doing the Spain show and most likely he will earn his next year Olympia qualification there. Just letting you guys know, um, we're going to finish this out strong. So the show will be next weekend in Spain, the big man weekend next Sunday. And we'll get there tomorrow to get all set for that and we'll be bringing you along with us. So in the comparison, in front double bicep shot, Brad doesn't have dominant biceps whereas Behroz has better biceps peak with much smaller waist. In front lat spread, Behroz shows striated chest while Brad shows more details in legs department. In back shots, both athletes are very strong. Behroz has wider back whereas Brett is not wider like Behroz, but Brett has better rhomboid muscle development overall, deeper, thicker and more detailed back muscles. While in lower half, I think Behroz is showing off more details. It's very difficult to choose the winner. Both athletes have great physique but in my opinion, Behroz deserved to win, he was more conditioned than Brett. Behroz Sabani had hard time entering into Europe, he could not compete in EVLS Prague Pro and Europa Pro but he has finally earned his Olympia qualification and I really hope he also gets his USA visa so we will see two Iranian muscle freak Hadi Chupan and Behroz Sabani in men's open division this year. So congratulations to him and thanks for watching.